The architects of building the black Jewish relationship, many of them have transitioned. Some of us know each other. My relationship with the Jewish community, yes, I know. But where's the pipeline? Where's the pipeline of young people that are in a creative way learning to appreciate the African American experience, the Jewish experience, my Latino brothers and sisters, my Muslim brothers and sisters who are being attacked for wearing a hijab? That's the pipeline that we must build out and we must be creative in doing so. It must be like a karate kid moment when the young man thought he was washing the car only to learn that he was learning karate. Our children must be built into everyday systems of how do we come together and appreciate the diversity of the city. If we want to acknowledge it or not, we are a segregated city. We look at someone with a kufi, a yarmulke, a hijab, or wearing a dashiki, or speaking a different language, we move away from them instead of leaning into them and say, wow, I want to learn from you because I believe I can develop my full personhood by learning from your experience in life. And we have to be intentional about doing that. It's not going to just happen. That's why in our Department of Education, we're focusing on not only allowing our children to be academically smart, but they must be emotionally intelligent. Everyone talks about building a better world for our children. No, we have to build better children for our world. We had this thing in Brooklyn called Breaking Bread, Building Bonds. A hundred dinners, ten people at each dinner. Each person came from a different ethnic, cultural, religious lifestyle. And they did something revolutionary. They talked to each other. They utilized the lubricating value of food to lean into their discomfort and started asking questions that we've all wanted to ask but never did. And lastly, the greatest challenge we have in front of us is that we have become silent. And when you come together like this, and state we refuse to be silent, that we're going to mobilize together, and we're going to have an open display of how much we need each other, and how much we can build on our city and our country. If it happens here in New York, it cascades throughout the entire country. The way goes New York, if people like it or not, goes America. And the way goes America goes the globe. If the seed of hate is planted here, the harvest of hate will spread across the globe. Mm -hmm. I say right now, let's plant a new seed.